Similar shapes look identical in terms of their appearance, but they do have different sizes. So we can see here with these two triangles that if we align them the same way, we can see they're the same shape. By alignment, we can see the left-hand side has got where the right angle is, and we've got a sloping diagonal which is longer than the other sides. So they do appear to be the same shape. To prove that they're similar, we need to compare the corresponding sides and see if they're in the same ratios. For example, are they all increasing by the same factor? Let's first of all have a look at how the large side compares to its matching smaller side. So along the base we can see there's 24 centimetres and 12 centimetres. 24 divided by 12 is 2. We'll do the same comparison for the long sloping diagonal sides. In this case, 26 on the larger triangle divided by 13 on the smaller triangle is 2. Likewise for the sides on the left, 10 on the larger triangle divided by 5 on the smaller triangle is 2. So any side on the smaller triangle, when multiplied by 2, gives the matching length on the larger triangle. The two triangles are said to be in the ratio of 1 to 2, and because this is true for every pair of matching sides, the triangles are said to be similar. Sometimes if we're asked to prove if triangles are similar, their first appearance is such that they don't actually look similar. So what we need to do is orientate the triangles in a position so that we can actually determine if they're similar or not. So in this case here, when we look at the triangle on the left, we can see that if we look at the three sides in order of their length, we've got 15 centimetres, then 12.5 on the top left, and then 10 centimetres at the base where A and B are. If we look at the triangle on the right, we can see that those lengths are in different positions. The smallest side, YZ, is at the top, whereas on the triangle at the left, the smallest side, AB, is at the bottom. So we need to flip triangle XYZ, or basically reflect it about a horizontal line. When we do that, we can now see that YZ, the smallest side, 8 centimetres, is in a similar position to where AB is. And we haven't changed things with the other sides. We can see that the longest side on the small triangle, XZ, is in a similar position to the longest side on the large triangle, AC. In another video, we look at how we actually go through and prove similarity between triangles by looking at four specific conditions. But first of all, before we do that, we need to make sure that we orientate the triangles so they look similar, and then we can make direct comparisons between sides and angles.